So then, guys, the M5 chip is officially here. We've seen the announcements. The brand new MacBook Pro has an M5. The iPad Pro has an M5 inside of it. Even a Vision Pro 2 has an M5. The M5 journey has now started. And this is a lot of you guys wondering, what about the Mac Mini? Will the Mac Mini also be getting an M5? And what about an M5 Pro? Well, today I want to go over all the leaks and all the rumors we've heard about the Mac Mini. And we're going to talk about what kind of changes we're going to see with it. But first of all, a little quick history lesson. Where are we right now with the Mac Mini? So, at the end of 2024, or I should say right at the beginning of November time, this was around about a year ago, we got an update to the Mac Mini. We got a brand new design. We got a far smaller design than the last generation. That old Mac Mini had been hanging around for about 12 to 14 years. I don't know the exact amount to be fair, but it had been around a very, very long time. So, we finally got this brand new design. And really, it's kind of like a mini version of the Mac Studio, which is pretty cool. We got lots of great ports on it. So, for example, on the rear, we have Thunderbolt 4 or Thunderbolt 5 ports, depending on what chip you get. You also get an Ethernet port. And we've also got some USB 3.2 ports on the very front as well, which is really, really handy. And also the headphone jack and other great things. And the great thing about this Mac Mini is that you could just bring on your own sort of keyboard, your mouse, your own monitor, and just have a full Mac OS experience. Now, the likes of the M4 Mac Mini is a fantastic buy out there. You can get the baseline version for $599. And that will give you 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. And like I said, it gives you that full Mac OS experience and a quite a powerful chip inside of this too. So it's a real, real great machine. But then, if M4 is not enough for you, you can also opt for the M4 Pro. And what's pretty awesome to see is that it fits in the exact same design of the Mac Mini. And like I said, now this M4 Mini has been out for a year now. And to be honest, you can get some great deals on it. You can even pick it up for less than $500 brand new. And especially with Black Friday coming, I'm sure that's also going to be the case this time around. But then, the next question you guys are wanting to know, what's going to happen then with the Mac Mini with the M5? Because the M5 journey has now started. So, as we know right now, we know exactly what the M5 chip is capable of. We have seen benchmarks for this. And it is a real screamer in speed. And lots of people out there are raving about how great the M5 is, especially in its GPU potential, and also for AI, for LLMs, and things like this. It is a real, real great chip inside of it. But here is the interesting part. It does have the exact same amount of cores as the M4. So, what I'm talking about here is that we actually got a 10-core CPU, and this is made up of six efficiency cores and four performance cores inside of it exactly the same as the M4, and the same for the GPU cores. We've actually got a 10-core GPU, exactly the same as what we got with the M4. But, like I said, it is far, far faster. In fact, Apple has even claimed that sometimes you can even get up to, say, a 45% increase in graphical performance than what you got with the M4. And this is amazing for what you get with this device. So you can imagine getting a Mac Mini with the M5 with that, for that same price tag of $599, it is going to be a real bargain to actually get one of these. But what I would also be saying with that is that when the M5 Mac Mini does come out, I wouldn't be expecting anything else as much to change with this. So don't expect to get, say, the minimum RAM to be 24 gigabytes. It's probably going to stay at 16. Or for example, the minimum amount of storage is probably going to stay at 256 gigabytes. If you remember the likes of the iPad Pro with the M5 inside of it, and also the likes of, say, the MacBook Pro, well, really, for storage, it stayed exactly the same. So, yeah, it's probably still going to stick around with 16 gigabytes of RAM as the base amount. But you will probably be able to opt for 24 gigabytes of RAM. But a lot of you guys are wondering, what's going to happen with the likes of, say, the M5 Pro inside of the Mac Mini? Beck, as obviously, we don't have the M5 Pro out yet. What's going to happen with the cores there? Well, in past history, Apple has shown they normally increase the cores by a couple each time. And it's most likely this is going to be a very similar situation for the M5 Pro. So, 
do remember with the current M4 Pro right now, you do actually have two configurations that you can pick from. You've either got the 12-core CPU or you've got the 14-core CPU. Now, in both of these versions, you always get four efficiency cores, but the rest of the cores are made up of the performance cores. So the 12-core one, you know, actually get eight performance cores. And then with the 14, you get 10. But like I said, Apple likes to increase the cores by a couple. So most likely for the CPU, the M5 Pro will be up to 16 cores this time around. So this means four efficiency cores and then up to 12 performance cores this time around. What's going to be absolutely amazing to see. But then it doesn't just change there. It will also be the GPU cores. This will probably also change as well. Do remember, right now we have a choice of a 16-core GPU or the 20-core GPU with the M4 Pro. So, most likely, the M5 Pro will go up by two more cores again. This will probably be up to a 22-core GPU. And this, this is going to really push out performance by a lot. I'm going to say even more than 50% more than what we got with the M4 Pro. Because at the end of the day, if we've got, say, the M5 versus the M4, and there were no more extra GPU cores added, and that could give us, say, up to about 40 or 45% increase in performance. Could you imagine adding two more cores as well? We are easily going to get over 50% more performance than we got with the M4 Pro. So this is going to be amazing to see in the likes of the M5 Pro going inside the Mac Mini. Now, the next question you might be asking about is, what about the design of the Mac Mini? Is anything probably going to change there? And I'm going to say, unlikely. It's probably going to stay exactly the same. Remember, we've just had the refresh in the design of the Mac Mini. It is probably not going to change for a good number of years. Remember, Apple kept the old Mac Mini design for around about 12 to 14 years. So yeah, it's not going to be updated anytime soon. So do expect the exact same design. But what I'd say is... It's just going to be the chips inside of it that are going to change this time around. So then, guys, just quickly, I want to tell you something. I'm bringing out my own product in November time. So this month, a bit later on this month, and it's going to be absolutely awesome. The main reason why it's going to be absolutely awesome is that quite a few of you are going to be able to get this for completely free. But that's a story for another day. The main thing I do want to tell you about is the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this right here. That's right. I'm giving away an international giveaway, an iPhone 17 Pro Max, to one lucky subscriber in mid-January time, 2026. Now, this iPhone 17 Pro Max, the good news about it, it does actually have a physical SIM card slot inside of it. So, I know there's some countries out there that don't take eSIM just yet. So, just in case somebody out there wins it in a country that doesn't take ESAMs, well, you've got the physical SIM. That's only really great news for you. But to enter into this giveaway, you just have to do two things. The first thing you need to do is just put down into the comments right now what technology gear you hope to get before the end of 2025 or even early 2026. And what you're looking to get could be anything out there. It could be a new iPhone. It could be a new MacBook. It could be a new iPad. It could be nothing to do with Apple whatsoever. It could be, say, a new Nintendo Switch 2 or a new drone or something like this. Just put it down into the comments below. Now, the other part of the giveaway is going to be happening in mid-January time. And at that time, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a video on this channel, giving you even more details for the giveaway, including a form to fill in too. So you won't want to miss out on that video because I'll also be announcing when I do the live stream too. So the best thing you could do right now is make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because you W. I want to miss out on that. Plus, you also want to be a subscriber too, because obviously, I'm giving this away to one lucky subscriber. Now, the last thing I just want to say to you guys, sadly, there's still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me, sending you to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, direct message. Please do ignore these people. As you can see right here, please do report them. So, moving on from this then, what about the release date and the price then for the new Mac Mini? Well, let's start out with the release date. We did actually have a leak come in right here telling us about the actual Mac Mini. And it looks like it is on target to come out in 2026. We have seen this leak right here, which shows us in Mac OS Tahoe, then a later version of it, 
So we're talking like version 26.4 or even 26.5 potentially. This is when we will get an update to it. So if you know your math and when versions of Mac OS are going to come out, we are looking towards the summer of 2026. Remember, before this time, we've got to get the likes of the MacBook Air. They're going to come out. The likes of, obviously, the MacBook Pros with the M5 Pro and the M5 Max. They've also got to come out, too, in the springtime. Most likely, the Mac Mini is targeted for a summer release this time around. And it's probably going to come alongside the likes of the Mac Studio and also the iMacs. Apple is going to release all of their desktops all together, which is going to be pretty cool to see in the summer in sort of WWDC 2026 time. So just be aware of that. It is going to be a good number of months until we get this Mac Mini. And do remember that in the past, with, say, previous Mac Minis, it has also taken anywhere between 18 months to a couple of years for Apple to update the Mac Mini. So this is quite normal for them to do it. They don't normally update the Mac Mini every single year, you know, within 12 months. So this does actually fit in quite well with the way that Apple likes to do their updates. So just be aware of that, too. But then for price-wise, it is more than likely, especially based on what we saw with the iPad Pros and also with the MacBook Pros, with the M5, and even the Vision Pro, that even just getting a new chip inside it, Apple didn't increase the pricing. So the baseline version with the M5 chip inside of the Mac Mini is probably going to stay exactly the same. So this will still be that great $599 for the baseline version. But then for the likes of the M5 Pro, that's probably going to stay exactly the same price as the previous M4 Pro, the current one that exists right now. So that's probably going to be around about $1,399 for that one. But obviously, you do get 24 gigs of RAM. You've also got 512 gigs of storage. So things have perked up a little bit there compared to what you get with the baseline M5 or M4 Mac Mini. But really, guys, that is the latest and greatest we have on the Mac Mini. So what's my best, honest opinion on this? I think the M5 Mac Mini is shaping up to be the ultimate bang for your buck in the entire Apple lineup. The M4 Mini was already a great deal. But a $599 machine with a new M5 chip that has a 45% graphic boost? That is not just a bargain. That is a steal. It will be the perfect computer for students, for families, for everyday work, and even for light creative tasks. It will be unbelievably fast for that price. But the real story, the one I am personally so excited about, is the M5 Pro. The idea of getting a 16-core CPU, a 22-core GPU, and over 50% more performance, all in that tiny, silent box that just sits on your desk, that is absolutely mind-blowing. That is max studio-level performance from just a couple of years ago for a fraction of the price. For video editors, musicians, coders, anyone who needs real power but doesn't want to spend $3,000, the M5 Pro Mac Mini is going to be an absolute monster. It's the tiny powerhouse that just got so much better. Are you excited for it? Are you going to be getting one? Well, let me know in the comments below. And on that note as well, guys, it's time to wrap up the video too. So, if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. As always, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And hit that notification bell. Until next TI, me guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.